These were the words said by Garth Illingworth of the University of California, commenting on one of the most spectacular findings made by the James Webb Space Telescope to this date. And I'm usually not a fan of dramatic headlines, but the latest update from NASA regarding this new finding really struck me. Have a look at this. Webb researchers have found two early galaxies, galaxies that formed very close in time to the Big Bang event, one of which may contain the most distant starlight ever seen. You can see them right here. On the left side image, the reddish dot you can observe in the middle is a galaxy thought to have existed a merely 350 million years after the Big Bang, which would make it the farthest galaxy ever detected if confirmed. If you look at the right side image, again, the reddish disk right in the middle is a galaxy that, if confirmed, would have existed only 450 million years after the Big Bang. Now, for us humans, these timescales are huge, almost unimaginable, but in the cosmic timescale, this is but a sliver of time. And this is one of the things researchers found very unusual. Because if these distances are indeed confirmed, then, according to Garth Illingworth, these galaxies would have to have started coming together maybe just 100 million years after the Big Bang, and nobody expected that the Dark Ages would have ended so early. The primal universe would have been just one hundredth of its current age, he added. Another unexpected finding was that these galaxies are unusually bright. According to Inningworth, one of the options that could explain this is that they could have been very massive, with lots of low-mass stars more resembling of later galaxies. Alternatively, they could be much less massive, consisting of far fewer extraordinarily bright stars, known as Population 3 stars, which are also believed to be the first generation of stars that formed after the Big Bang, made only of primordial hydrogen and helium, and blazing at ridiculously high temperatures. Researchers also went on to add the following. Based on all predictions, we thought we had to search a much bigger volume of space to find such galaxies. Their extreme brightnesses are a real puzzle, challenging our understanding of galaxy formation. Also, as a matter of fact, these observations are pushing astronomers toward a consensus that an unusual number of galaxies in the early universe were much brighter than expected, which will in turn make it easier for Webb to find even more early galaxies in its subsequent deep sky surveys. Another researcher of the University of Colorado also noted that the team was surprised by being able to measure the shapes of these first galaxies, which are unexpectedly calm and orderly, thus challenging the current understanding that we humans have of how the first galaxies form in the chaos, which is believed was the early universe. Further spectroscopy measurements will have to be made in order to verify the distances of these newly discovered galaxies. And concerning myself, I'm really lost for words. I don't even know what to say other than what a great time to be alive. And that I'm really grateful to be able to see such mind-bending and jaw-dropping discoveries. Thank you for watching. It was a short video, but I really wanted to bring you the news. Uh, I hope you liked it anyway. I will see you really soon in the next one. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.